Hi, I'm Wade from Thoroughbred Diesel, and today we want to give you a little quick tip on using main studs in your engine builds. Now, if you're building your own motor, obviously you're probably already looking into doing studs versus bolts. We've had videos that we've discussed the advantages of both of them, but I wanted to do a little bit of a video, a little video today, and talk to you just a little bit about main studs. Now, first off, if you're building your block for a competition application, you, you already know this, but main studs are gonna be a just an, an absolute must for you. Uh, if you're building a street motor, uh, everyday driver, daily driver, main studs can still be a really, really good addition to your motor because they're gonna add longevity to the motor, uh, longevity to the block, because with the main stud, you're not gonna have the tension on the internal studs inside of the block. So that's gonna get you longer block life. What they're also gonna do is you're also gonna give you a more accurate torque reading when you go to, ta to torque your main caps down. Accurate torque readings are gonna give you uh, proper oil, clear oil clearances. They're not gonna allow the crank to walk inside of the journals as well. Uh, so I definitely suggest main studs. Price point on main stud versus replacing your bolts in the block, which you have to do, uh, is not that much of a difference. Go ahead and use the main studs. Now, here is the, the most important part of main studs. And we run into this with uh, the engine build kits that we sell quite a bit. Uh, a lot of guys are building motors for the first time. They're getting their information um, you know, from whatever source that they're getting it from. When you do decide that you, you're gonna do main studs, you have to send the stud kit itself as, as a whole product to the machinist that you're taking your blocks to. Now also, before you order your uh, rebuild kits for your motor, the block has to go to the machinist as well so you know what your clearances are gonna be. So you know what the crank is gonna be, if it's gonna be standard or overbore, or what your, uh, what your piston bores are gonna be, if they're gonna be standard or, or overbore because of damage to the, um, to the cylinders and whatnot. But the most important part of that is when you take the block to the machinist shop you and you're going to use main studs, you have to take the main studs with the block. The reason for that is when the main caps go on using main studs, the main studs are going to have a higher torque value to them than what the bolts do, than what, a, than what the normal stock OE uh, bolt torque sequence, bolt torque specifications are. So you could have deflection in the journal of the main cap and the, and the cylinder bore with the main studs. So the increased torque uh, value that's going to be on those studs will have to be checked for straightness in the line bore when you take it to machine shop when you're using main studs. You're probably going to have um, some deflection there, some out of round because of the studs, so it will have to be line bored inside of, in, uh, uh, to those specifications. So that's a quick tip. If you're going to be using main studs, main studs have to go with your block to the machine shop to be checked for your line board. So if you have a question about uh, this video or if you're doing an engine build and you have any questions for us on anything, uh, please give us a call, like, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for watching.